Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about lime essential oil. I'm going to be using it when I make my jello. Um, first, you need a container to put your jello in when you make it. The flavor of jello you're going to make, which is lime, that's why I chose lime essential oils. I need one cup hot boiling water and one cup cold water. Easy to make, as you already know. I'm sure you've made Jello before, but I just chose this because it's going to be a fun little thing for me to make, and uh, I'm going to make it so I can have some Jello for dessert. And I'm trying to lose weight, so this is sugar-free, which will help me. And uh, so here I go. I need boiling boiling water, so I'm going to get one cup boiling water. My sink gets pretty hot, so I'll probably just use the water from the sink. Here. And I have some fruit cocktail that I'll be putting into it for a little, little extra uh, fruit or something besides just jello to munch on. I'm making a tuna casserole for my, my husband for lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. Waiting on the macaroni to grow. To grow. Waiting on the macaroni to boil. So that's one thing I'm doing as well. I'll stir that up a little bit here. Got my oven going. Set for 350 degrees so it stays nice and hot. I don't know if I'm going to use any oils in my um, tuna castro or not. What oil could I use in tuna castro? I can put cilantro in there. I have some cilantro. Let's see here. I can put black pepper in there. And cilantro. So... I'll be making my tuna casserole as well and mixing the oils in it as I mix it up, put it in the oven. And when I get it all mixed up, it, it isn't going to take that much to do. You just put it in there and put some cheese on top of it and let it melt. But I'm also going to put Rice Krispie Treat, Rice Krispie, Rice Krispies on top. I don't have cornflakes, so I'm going to sprinkle that on top and then be, like I say, when I cook, I just put, use what I have and make it work. So it sounds like the water's hot now. So I'm gonna go get my cup of hot water. There's my cup of hot water. You can see the steam if you if you look careful. See the steam? It's hot. Put my hot water in there. Get my Jello opened up. The non sweetened Jello's packages look smaller than the ones that has all that sugar, yucky stuff in it. Now I'll take and stir it up. It says stir for three minutes, so I don't know if we can stir for three minutes or not, but. That's what the direction said to do. Get it well dissolved. What's your favorite jello? What what scent? Scent? What flavor? Lemon, lime, orange. I don't know. They're all just about the same, aren't they? I'm going to go ahead and add the fruit to that. I'm going to get one cup of cold water. Wait for the water temperature to turn back from hot to cold. Finished up here. Get my pan. 
pan or my tuna castro. Oh, cup of cold water. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place today. water. Pour it in. And then I just put it in the refrigerator and it's ready when, when it gels. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My camera went crooked. Sorry about that. Put this in the fridge. Can't wait till my peas grow in my garden where I'd be able to just take them straight from the garden and put them in my foods. But I've got my peas here. I'll go ahead and get those strained. the liquid off. No, honey, it's not for you. This is mom and daddy's. My, my cat gets so excited when I open up a can. She thinks it's for her every time. And, uh, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put the lime inside the jello. I'm so squirrely today. <laughs> Lime inside the jello. How can I be so forgetful? That's going to bring the flavor out so much. I'm going to put like three drops. Ready? Okay. Stir that up. And then put it back in the fridge. <laughs> Yes, lime jello tastes like lime, but when you add the essential oils to it, and you put it, that flavor is ten times better. And lime essential oil is a detoxing uh, oil, so if you put that in there, it helps detox when you use it, which is something I want to do because I really want to lose a hundred pounds by September. If I don't make my goal, it's okay as long as I lose, you know. So my macaroni is just about ready to go in my pan. I added my peas to it already. Let's bring you over here. I know. You probably already know how to do this too, but uh, I'm doing it, so I might as well show you. Here's my boiling water. Get some more light on the subject here. Whew, that's blinding. Now you can see in the pan a little easier. So. gonna be tasty got my strainer right here my good old strainer make the sink so I can drain the water off the macaroni Gotta 
add the tuna. I don't like the uh, tuna with oil. I like the tuna with the water. So I will get some tuna with water. Open that up and put it inside. Can openers right here. I sure am squirrely today. I've been really busy. I planted my onion seeds today. A whole package of them. Never planted them by seed before. Let me get over and block that. There we go. Never planted them by seed before, so we'll see how that turns out. I won't be planting them until probably March or April. But they've got time to grow. Put the tuna in. into my pan. You can't see me. I'm so sorry. Everything's already cooked so all I have to really do when I put it in the oven is melt the cheese and crisp up the cereal that I put on top. Spread this out. This looks like in my pan. Sprinkle my cheese on top, sprinkle all the cereal on top, pop it in the oven and let it bake until the cheese melts it and gets all ooey gooey and it's ready to eat. If you like this and you want to see, oh I forgot the oils. I'm so squirrely. Got my black pepper and my cilantro. Put a couple drops in there, both of them, so you can see that. There we go. Cilantro and black pepper. I'm having a ball today for getting things. This is going to bring out the flavor so much. And I, I'm a pepper freak. Pepper. I put four drops of pepper in there. Now, mix that up. Mmm, smells so good. Honey, that's not for you. I gave you your tuna already this morning. We put tuna with oil for the cat and tuna with water for us. She loves it. Bring the cheese over the top of that and melt it in there. If you like this and you like to see more cooking channels, more cooking channels, more cooking in my channel, let me know. I don't mind cooking. I'm not much when it comes to cooking in front of people. I've never, I don't usually do that, but. And if it helps my channel, I will do it. Put this stuff away. Get the cereal. I'm gonna sprinkle on top of that. Rice Krispies. Like I say, whatever I got, I'm gonna use. And it will be eight. Because I will eat it. Oh, so will my husband. I'm gonna say, hmm, that's different. Yes, it is. If you want to try this, try it and let me know what you think of it when you eat it. One more handful of this. So, here's what it looks like before it goes in the oven. 
Ta-da! Put it in the oven, let the cheese melt, and we're ready to eat. Go ahead and smash the like button. Share this with people on your social media uh, channels that you have. And i see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to get ready to eat me some lunch. Ta-ta for now.